Ebola virus. What difference? Jim Crow Day. Most radical. It's time to try something new. Hey, everybody, welcome to News Busted. I'm Jody Miller. Let's get started. A study by USA Today found that only one in eight U.S. households is living the American dream. The other seven households are living the Obama nightmare. <laughs> The month of May is National Barbecue Month. Hopefully the FBI will take the opportunity to grill Hillary. <laughs> Malia Obama will attend Harvard University after taking a year off. She obviously inherited her father's work ethic. <laughs> the Justice Department announced that it will stop using the terms felon and convict. Finally, some good news for Hillary. <laughs> Senator John McCain said he's in for the race of his life with Donald Trump at the top of the ticket, which is the same thing McCain said when Abe Lincoln was at the top of the ticket. <laughs> Scientists say there will soon be a pill that can erase painful memories. Until then, we'll just have to settle for tequila. <laughs> Due to an energy shortage, Venezuela has introduced a two-day work week or as Bernie Sanders supporters call it, utopia. <laughs> and finally, the Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey Circus has stopped using performing elephants. In a related story, Donald Trump will continue to use Chris Christie. <laughs> Thanks for watching News Buzz and everybody, I'm Jody Miller. Make sure to tell your friends about us and we'll catch you next time. <laughs>